Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at a product brought to us by Matricom, and this is the Arc. And the Arc is a home management system. Let's go ahead and check it out. So guys, for those of you who are interested in the actual specs, you see them right here. So Arc is a very powerful unit, has a Arc system in the box, an Ethernet cable, an HD cable, power cord, as well as a really cool remote control. Uh, but again, it has multiple features as you can see here uh, listed. So let's go ahead, uh, take a look at the unit and see what's in the box. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So in the box, you'll find your user guide, Ethernet cable, you have an HDMI cable, power, the ARC unit itself, as well as a really cool QWERTY remote. Now let's take a second just to look at the ports that you have in the back. So you have a lot of connectivity here, guys. Everything that you would need to really take advantage of the system. Uh, not only do you have uh, WAN input, but you also have the ability to connect other devices, your HDMI, your AV, uh, USB connectivity as well, and SD slots, and more. So a lot of capabilities here to connect to so that you can make the most out of the system. All right, guys, so now we're looking at the ARC system projecting in my media center just to give you a sense of what the background looks like uh, so I have this uh, projecting through a short throw projector at 4k on a 150 inch screen and it looks absolutely amazing uh, we're gonna take a look at all the features that this platform provides and we said that this is a very robust solution so this is not just gonna satisfy your needs when it comes to uh, consuming media but it's also gonna be providing all of those services that are needed to have your connected home your devices as they're connecting to it as a router and much more so let's take a look at each one of these items so the first thing that you'll notice on the screen is that you do have, as soon as you log in, a really robust experience homepage giving you access to all the key areas uh, within the Arc platform. Now, one of the things I wanted to share with you is the actual remote. So we saw this in the video uh, when we're doing the unboxing, and this is a really, really robust, capable remote. So not only does it have a touchpad as you would find with a lot of the devices nowadays, you have back button, home button, power button, volume buttons here, but on this side as you flip it over it has a full functioning keyboard so this really makes it easy to navigate websites browsers key in data I find it very enjoyable and then I find that the size is really good I like these little humps so if you notice right here how it has these humps right there it makes it really easy to hold in the hand and then so that you can type away so really nice remote very responsive and also um, just has everything that you would need from a remote when it comes to managing a system like this all right, so starting at the very bottom, you're going to see that we have home, which is what we're looking at. And all I'm going to do is on my remote is I'm going to press this button here. I'm moving over to the side. And here we have movies. Notice all of the movie options that you have. Now, this does have access to Google Play's ecosystem. So that means that you have Netflix, Hulu, you name it, it's there. Everything that you would have in the Android marketplace when it comes to media content is available. As I move over, I could look at TV shows. Aren't those the TV shows that you watch? I'm sure they are, and they're available as well, as long as you have the appropriate app. You also have a live TV capability, and this live TV is global live TV. So it's going to immediately start streaming, and it will uh, clear itself up in a, in a second once the, uh, the stream is complete. But it's going to give you access to content worldwide. So what you're seeing right here is that content, and you can switch, and we're going to take a look at this in a second. I can go into my smart home settings, and in here it's going to work with several connected uh, device applications that I have. Uh, one of them is I have a light switch, and you'll see that on the upper left-hand corner. So let me see if I can get my finger there. You see that right there, that switch? So we're going to show you how that switch works. Um, and then it's going to tell you everything about your smart home and as you're using all of these devices, how it's consuming uh, the energy. Here we have, uh, for any kind of connected device that's going through the router, this is your, again, your hub for all your devices as they're connected to it wirelessly. So if you have an iPad, an Android tablet, an iPhone, uh, or a Samsung phone, whatever device that is, it's going to be connected to this, and this is going to be your gateway to the Internet. And then what you have is also is the security aspect of it. Security and the vulnerabilities and threats are real, and this is uh, definitely monitoring and keeping you safe. So let's take a look at the movies in a little bit more detail. 
So in the movie section, you can see you know all of the movies that are the pr pretty popular movies that are right now out in the market. And let me uh, take you to one of them. We'll go into this one because I think this is a pretty fun one. We're going to choose this. And what you have is you can watch it based on the application or, or it'll tell you which application you need in order to see this specific movie. So you notice here how on the very bottom it just highlighted in red and I'll go ahead and use my finger to point up there. There it is right there. Uh, that's the application that you'll need in order to see or, or where it's available. Let's look at a preview so you can see what the quality is like. Now to give you a sense of my setup, I have um, 150 to 300 megabit connection. So what you're seeing is my streaming capability and you can see the overall quality that's coming across. Uh, again, there wasn't much stutter there at all. I didn't really see any kind of pixelation. It just started playing. Let's try another one. Let's uh, start this one up and let's see what the quality is again. See how quickly it responds. So what here's giving you again where it's available. So these are all your sources. And again, if you have one of these, you're going to be able to launch it. I'm going to choose my preview. And all we're going to do is look and see how quickly this thing is going to stream and the quality of the stream that's coming across. None of these have been launched previously. So this is the very first time that we're launching this. Look how clean that is. So very smooth. We're just going to let this run just a little bit more so that you can see the actual uh, color quality coming through this because this is right now not showing the best part of the, of the cartoon. But here we go. So see this? You know, so again, great performance. You don't really see that lag as the video is catching up. Um, just love the overall quality. And again, it shows great in a room with a 150-inch screen. What can I say? So now let's go into TV shows. We'll go down. So I'm just going to down arrow and move over. And the same thing happens with TV shows, right? So with TV shows, you just go to the specific show that you'd like to see. Uh, this is one of my favorites. And then what you'll do here is you'll be able to get, again, previews of each one of these seasons. So it's giving you the season breakdown. Obviously, you're going to need the appropriate app uh, for viewing these specific scenes um, in full detail. But again, great summation of every season that's available for this specific series. One of my favorites. Now, just like what we saw in the other area, I chose one of the episodes I wanted to see. And here you have all of the sources that it's available. So all you need to do is have one of those sources that are right there listed on the bottom in order to view this. So it's a really, it does a really nice job of getting all the content for you, consolidating it, and then giving you access to that content and making it really easy to find you know, that show, that movie of choice. And again, let's watch how quickly this preview starts up. And again, no pixelation. It's just there. And again, absolutely fantastic. All right, so now let's talk about TV. Uh, what I want you to do is focus up here in this corner. Notice how it says Australia there? What we're going to do is we're going to move over. And notice how as I'm going to the right, it's going to various countries. So notice as I'm just clicking through. And it's giving me access to a world of content, literally a world of content. And then all I have to do is find the country that I'd like to see content from and select it and it'll start streaming. So it's really cool. So let's find something that we want to watch. So notice what country I'm in. So I went ahead and selected this country and I said, let me see what they're showing. I selected a channel and now I'm streaming that. Let me go to another country. All right, so here's another channel that, that we just chose. And in this case, the streams are not going to be, in my experience, you know, 4K quality. It's all going to be based on the quality of the stream. But I think that's this still is pretty good. Let's go ahead and try another one. All right, so here I am continuing my trek around the world. And here we're seeing some more content um, coming from another country, all available through one device. Now, the next thing that you could do uh, with this platform is really control all of your smart devices. So what you'll notice here is that are, there's a couple devices that I have connected. And what I'm going to do is let me go back to this for a second. I'm going to uh, choose this light switch. Uh, when I push this 
button right here, you'll notice that the switch right now is off, right? If I push this button, and now it's on. So let me show you what the switch looks like. Now I went ahead and disconnected the switch from the wall, and let me just show you. So uh, this specific technology that you see here, let me get this a little bit closer. See how it says Z-Wave? Really, really simple to implement. All you literally have to do is plug this into an electrical outlet. You come into this application here, and you add a new device. You press this button, and then immediately the, the switch becomes part of this ecosystem. Uh, you could, what you can do here is not only can you control turning on and off devices, you can use this to uh, dim a light if that's something that you would like to do. Uh, we use a lot of these throughout my home. I have um, some of these connected even to our fish tank. So the lights in the tank, we have it on timers based on these type of switches, and just have it start at a specific time. So once again, bringing in all that content and control into one specific solution. Now the next thing I wanted to do is show you kind of the router capability so that you can see uh, what you can expect from a router. So here we have our router info. Again, this is kind of like a dashboard telling you what's going on. Uh, your Wi-Fi settings and you have two, uh, again, frequencies, 2.4 and 5, which is great. Uh, and then what you have is your different modes. So you can have a standard mode, you can have Wi-Fi off, a sleep mode, uh, and then also long range, which is going to extend it even further. Uh, here you have kind of prioritization that you can configure based on uh, what you're doing in your home. So that's fantastic as well. You have router administration, you have your router state, and then you have your web guide to it as far as the HCP, uh, broadband, static, wireless, and even it has guest Wi-Fi capabilities. Now the system also keeps your home secure. So with the application, if you register and, and obviously log in, you'll be able to monitor all the activity that's going on uh, throughout your house. And let's face it, that there are so many people around the world that have infected devices and don't realize that their devices could be part of some malicious activity unknowingly. Or there could be um, information being stolen from your home and you wouldn't know it either. So here we have a really nice dashboard that is identifying, detecting, monitoring, and protecting you. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, on the application area. And, and this is where things are going to look very familiar. Notice by choosing that, aren't these all familiar applications? So literally you have full browser support, you have your standard uh, Netflix, you'd have again anything that is supported from the Google ecosystem, uh, you're going to be able to have access to it. And again, giving you a world of content available at a remote's touch. All right, guys, so that concludes our review of the ARC Smart Home Management System. If you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment area. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.